and uh, welcome back to another episode on the 1.15 uh, Let's Play. Uh, today we are over here by the concrete machine, and right there, that's the concrete machine. We've got our mob spawner, which is doing fantastically. I've already cleaned out most of the stuff after a one night AFK session. Uh, I left all the bones and string in. Oh, looks like we actually got a witch. See? We got zombies falling down. We got another mob. I think that was a creeper. Uh, possibly. We've. Uh, but, anyways, uh, I started work on a small little project a uh, coarse fruit farm so we can get loads and loads of coarse fruit. Which you may be wondering, like, Superboy, why in the world would you need coarse fruit? It's probably the most useless thing in the game. And. To that I say it is, yeah, pretty useless. Except it has one specific little uh, bit that is actually quite useful. And that is that it is the crafting recipe for, uh, not blade rods, end rods. It is uh, the main ingredient, I believe. I can't remember the crafting recipe exactly but you need popped coarse fruit which is just smelted coarse uh fruit so if this works correctly then if i press that the water will go out that doesn't have a long enough press time i think we're gonna have to use a wooden button uh i think wooden buttons uh go ahead and last longer hopefully long enough Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wooden button is the way to go. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty then. Uh, so, this thing is now all up and running. I did quite a bit of it off camera. I just did the one side. This side is, uh, for growing these, uh, flowers that we have to have in order to grow the actual coarse plants. And this side is going to just be for normal coarse fruit. So, what will happen is we'll have to manually harvest the flowers. As you see, that one's already started to grow. But we'll have to manually harvest the flowers on this side, and then we'll have to come over and press the button. Uh, the reason that we can't just press the button over here to get the flowers is because if we do, then these, like these flowers, uh, don't actually fall when you break the thing so uh let me I can craft all these back into blocks and dump them in there but yeah so I need my shovel as you can see I still have all of that terrible terrible loot and yeah see 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 this has already produced well and we can go ahead and pop over here to over there and just place one. And yeah, you can see that the thing's working. I kind of should probably somehow make it so mobs can't get in. Because that is kind of annoying. Not really affects the rates, but like it's, it's annoying. I don't really want them in my farm. But... Yeah, that is that project done. The only thing we need now is an actual, uh, we need a blaze spawner sort of system. So, let's go and do that. Alright guys, so we're over here at the spawner I have chosen. And we just almost got murdered. But, I am currently, oh, okay. I didn't know that was down there, but I'm currently just mining out, I should probably switch pickaxes, because that one doesn't have mending on it, and I need that one, because it's my silk touch, as of currently at least, and dead, and return two, ow, did I like, nope, Okay, okay, okay. I need to go at four. So one, two, three, and four. 
All right, guys. So we are at the Blaze Farm. I just finished it. Uh, so uh, it's kind of annoying with the knockback sword to do this, but pretty much you just kill all these dudes and you just like walk around like this if they're out of range. It it's pretty good. I had to shrink down the size from what you guys saw in the previous clip because uh, you wouldn't be able to reach the center and there would probably be a lot of blazes getting stuck in the center but other than that this thing is honestly proving itself worthy but wait can you eat popcorn fruit no you can't thought it'd be like popcorn but I actually broke my my under chest oops <laughs> uh, come on and so uh, I have quite a bit Oh, I thought I flippin' started falling real hard like my Elytra broke or something. That scared me. But, now we have everything set up for a uh, little farm known as the, uh, the Endrod Farm. Which, technically, uh, that is the Endrod Farm. Those are the Endrod Farms, but... Let's head over here, and it looks like these things have been growing. I did visit here not that long ago for a little bit of time. So that's why these are all grown. Grab all of these flowers. Grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that, and then... Well, uh... Yeah. Let's uh, manually destroy these ones. Actually, because it looks like over on the other side, well, it looks like we're going to have to go ahead and plant these. But the other side isn't uh, quite ready for this yet. So, I'm going to throw down a chest right here, and we're going to use that to store all of that sort of stuff. So... That is that project done. Alright guys, so we are over here at the Blaze Farm. Uh, if you guys can see, I've made some improvements. I've widened it up. I've added some pistons. Those will push the guys off the edge. As you can see, uh, we are getting pretty good rates out of this farm. Uh, I have been working at it for a little while. And, uh, yeah, I finished up at the blaze farm so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go start the final project for today's episode and that project is a kelp farm so what we're gonna be doing with the kelp farm is we're actually going to be using it as fuel for our super smelter because that thing goes through coal like nobody's business like seriously 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 really goes through coal way too fast so what we're gonna do about that is first we're gonna sleep and there's some melons that pop through the top that luckily only happens every once in a while but we're gonna head over to here where about here on top of this hill is where I want to build the kelp farm so, oh hey, that thing's finally working. I went AFK overnight, and it didn't work once, and now it's working perfectly fine. I guess I may have been out of range, because I was over at the mob farm. Okay, that was scary. I also accidentally blew up all of my, uh, all of this. Uh, there, was a cre there was like four creepers right here, and they're all like, Ooh, doo -doo. so I had to kill them, so I came over. And there was like too many animals in the way, so I'm like hitting them. And then they just decide, you know what, let's ruin this man's day. And they all blew up being little turd nuggets. There. But we do have a good amount of end rods. See, we have almost two rows, two, one and a half of end rods. And we have two popped coarse fruit. Uh, let's do a quick farm of this. Looks like we got two on this one. 
and boop. All right, go throw this flower in the chest, and I'll see you guys over at the kelp farm when we're starting construction. All right, guys, so we've got the first portion of uh, the the kelp farm done, which is the smelter, which turns all of the kelp into dry kelp, which we can use to turn into kelp blocks to power this furnace system and the one over there. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to just bring that over there, like so. And we're probably going to have a dropper vader going up. Let me actually get all the droppers. Almost grab the dispensers. And, yeah, I'm going to start working on just the actual kelp farm now. Alright guys, so uh, I finished up the kelp farm, as you can see right here, we've got all the observers, and I've got the super smelter over there, uh, if you come around back here, we got lights over there, just some ups and spawn inside, we got all the furnaces already, and I've got uh, fuel inside of them, and yeah, so yeah, we've got the, we've got the kelp growing, it's doing pretty well, and uh, yeah, so uh, we've got all these furnaces over here and it's a nice little super smelter and it goes through the kelp real nicely uh, I can't remember whose design it is but it's a really nice design of a super smelter but oh that's a weird bug okay then but um yeah uh, see it's got fuel everything I've got my coal inside and if you come down to the end it's got coal in there um, yeah even Lee distributes everything uh, with like observers, or not observers, but with comparators and all that, and uh, yeah, if you head over here, you got slabs on the top for no spawning, and we've got the 17 have already been smelted, and it hasn't really been that long since I actually built it, so that is some pretty good rates, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, make sure to go down, hit that like button, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video, peace. Out my brothers.